Hi, this is kind of different. As many of you know, we're under construction here and painting and all kinds of interesting things here at the complex. And I have painters outside the rest of my apartment on all the, on all corners. <laughs> the only safe place I have right now is the bedroom. So this is where we're, we're talking. But it's kind of appropriate because we're talking about relationships, okay? In any relationship, one of three things is going to happen. You will grow together. That's a goal. You will grow stagnant. You get bored. You grow apart. And it's up to you. It's up to both of you if you want it to work. How much energy you're willing to put into it. That's your call. It's, I'm trying to think how I want to say this. It's not that hard. A lot of times you go into a relationship for the wrong reasons. Think about it. Do not make a relationship based on sex. Do not make it based on income, stability, security. Base a relationship the foundation of any relationship should be friendship. This is somebody, if it's somebody you're dating long-term, you live with, you're married to, honey, you have to be best friends. You have to be so close. Think about that. This could be, if you're not married, think about it. This is somebody that, old time expression, you're hitching your star to, you know, that you're connecting with, are they emotionally secure? Are they emotionally available for you? Do you want to have children with this person? Are they going to be around in five years, 10 years, 20 years? You don't want to bring kids into the world if this is just a one time, you know, well, we'll see what happens. These are kids. They, de they deserve the love and attention of both parents and their families. Think about what you're doing. It's, it's so easy to get caught up in the romance, especially early on. We all love that, the butterflies, but there's more to it. Every day, the two of you should check in with each other. <laughs> now, if you're married, if you're living together, you definitely better be checking in with each other. But if you're just dating, touch base. Hey, how was your day? Send, you know, touch base at night. Just wanted to tell you goodnight. I mean, that's nice. It's sweet. That's okay. Do not drive them nuts with text messages and touching base and following up. What are you doing? What are you doing? Who are you with? What time are you going to be here? If you have plans, be courteous. If you're going to be late, let them know you're going to be late. If you're going to, you know, be early, let them know you're going to be early. Just be courteous. Be kind. Make your partner a priority in your life. If you want them as your partner, if you want them as your significant other, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, make them a priority. It's important to have your autonomy for you to be you and have your time for self-care, but that doesn't mean you're rude. If you're not doing anything and your friends call and wanna go grab a beer, go to a movie, whatever it is, I'm not saying ask permission, but touch base and say, hey, just so you know, the girls and I are going to go grab a, you know, dinner and a movie. Or the guys and I are going to go grab a beer and watch a game. That's just courteous. Nobody's asking permission. It's common courtesy. Because God forbid somebody's in a car accident. You didn't get to say goodbye. You didn't get to say I love you. I hear this on a regular basis from people. Well, we were mad at each other. Or I know I should have called and told him. I just wanted to hear him say, I love you one more time. Or, you know, I just miss her voice. I just wanted to hear it one more time. Give them that. A good morning note. A good evening note. How was your day? Touch base. Be courteous. But keep your autonomy. It's very important for, you know how I feel about self-care. That's very important for you to make time for you. Now, make time for your partner too, of course, and, and your kids if you have kids, but self-care.
You can't serve others from an empty vessel. So I want you to do something for you. If that means going out with the guys, going out with the girls, going for a mani-pedi, going for a jog, whatever, I want you to do that once a week. That's important. I want you to maintain open, honest communication with your partner. Tell them, hey, I'm gonna be doing this. I'm gonna be doing that. It's okay. Because you don't want to be dismissive because then people start getting suspicious. You don't wanna go down that path. I mean, that's just silly. So don't give them reason to doubt you. If you are bored in a situation, don't start seeing someone and thinking, well, we'll see how this goes, and then I'll tell my girlfriend, boyfriend, significant other, or spouse. No, sit down. What I recommend, I would like to see couples sit down once every couple of weeks, once a month, and have a list of things that you want to talk about. You're going to have a little board meeting. One can bring coffee, one can bring the, you know, the pastries. And you sit down and you talk about the relationship. If there are issues, if there are concerns, this is the time to voice them. No voices are going to be raised, no name calling. This isn't a time for finger pointing and blame. It's a time to talk about the, the cracks in the relationship before they become an abyss in the relationship that can't be repaired. If you're getting bored, let them know, you know, I'm just, I'm not feeling what I used to feel. Things just aren't the same. Talk about it. If you need to part, part as friends. You went into it as friends. There's no reason you can't leave as friends. Handle it maturely. Talk. Open, honest dialogue. Because you're both worth that. The relationship was worth that. Part as friends. Don't step out don't flirt, don't cheat, don't have sex with somebody else just because your partner doesn't meet your needs. Tell them they're not meeting your needs. They may have an underlying medical condition you're not aware of. Maybe they don't even realize they're not meeting your needs. But do not be shady. Do not cheat. Don't start flirting and stepping around. Don't, don't do that. That's just low class. Don't, please. No. You deserve happiness. They deserve happiness. Make it happen. Work together as a team. It can happen. It can work. And if it's time to part, part as friends. If you see that you're growing stagnant and it's more of a relationship that's roommates instead of what it used to be, talk about it. Talk about it. Find out why. Maybe you, the both of you, need couples counseling. There's nothing wrong with that. Going to see somebody periodically, nothing in the world wrong with that. It keeps it healthy. And that's what I want. I want you to have a happy, healthy relationship. Pay attention to what's going on in your partner's life. Care. The relationship that, you know, I'm not in a relationship now, but the relationship I was in for several years. Great guy, it's just there were issues. And I'm very passionate about my work, as we all know, and about the projects I'm involved in. And he was very passionate about his job, and I'm very supportive. I thought it was great. I didn't understand a lot of the aspects, but I would la ask lots of questions, and I was there. When it came to my job, he didn't want to hear about it because he would tell me, I don't care. I don't want to hear about it. So it was mute. It was, we couldn't talk about my day. That's not good. That's a problem. Do not micromanage someone else's life. Don't say, well, here's what you need to do, and you could increase your productivity at work if you did. You don't know their job. You don't know the ins and outs of it. Just be supportive. Let them vent. Let them talk. Listen. Don't micromanage. But, you know, care about their day. Care about their family. If a family member's sick, you know, send a card, drop by and check on them. Ask, how's your mom, dad, aunt, uncle, you know, whoever it is, just ask. Is there anything I can do? Can I fix something and have you take it over? Be supportive. If they're having issues at work, that's really stressful. Let them vent. Don't judge, 
just let them vent because we all need that. If they are experiencing a loss, let them work through the grief their way. There aren't any rules for grief. Let them grieve their way in their time. But let them know they can talk to you and you're there for them. Without judgment, you're just there. That's really, really important. Look at it as a team. I've often compared it to two oxen who are yoked together and you're on the same path. There are going to be days one pulls a little harder than the other and that's okay because you're there together as a team on the same path, on the same journey. Be there for each other. Grow together. 